Hey everyone, Jody Dean here, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you all about monetizing your soul gifts. So, uh, I recently put a post out about that and uh, about a cheat sheet, cheat sheet that I've created, a cheat sheet, sheet um, that I created, which is a blueprint, pretty much, for doing what I do, uh, sharing my gifts, my soul wisdom, my, my gifts, my knowledge that I've accumulated over my lifetime and delivering it as my genius and being richly rewarded for it, having a robust income for it. Now, of course, when anyone talks about, ah, I can show you, I can teach you how to make money, you know, just, uh, put your email address in here and you'll be driving a Ferrari in no time or you'll be traveling jet setting around the world to Bali and living this like you know luxury lifestyle hey I understand like super super skeptical um as I am um about all this stuff so what this isn't that all right this is not that this is being true to self. This is all about being true to self. This is not about some kind of fantasy kind of thing that like is about anything other than being yourself. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that every single one of us comes into this life with, with gifts, with, with purpose, with um, a mission. And of course, some of us, it is to, to be an artist, um, to, to be a, a mother, right? To be a, um, a business person, to um, serve in a certain way or to, to work in institutions and academic. And that's all good. That's great. But then there are others of us who want more, who understand that the planet is going through a gigantic shift in consciousness, in reality, in mindset, that the internet has just completely transformed the way that we do life, um, the way that we interact, the way that we learn as well, and that there is this enormous, absolutely gargantuan knowledge economy that exists now um, where you can basically just press a button and get you know pay a subscription or or whatever and get an, a f like a fire hose of information about your chosen subject and you can have someone personally mentoring you who is a master in the thing that you want to learn about that you want to experience try um transform in yourself you know whether it's something that you want to let go of in terms of like it's um to do with your body or to do with your health um to do with your well-being or whether it's something more to do with um skills you want to learn um experiences you want to create or have uh, I mean it's just it's so infinitely vast it's ridiculous um, businesses you want to um, have a go at you know uh, it, it might be literally like you are um, really highly experienced in running a coffee shop and that is valuable that is so so valuable if you've you know ran your own coffee shop and turned a profit and had a great time and made a great brand or reputation that is massive that is absolutely massive i remember so many years ago decades ago i met someone in spain at this kind of hippie kind of commune in andalusia who said that she worked in london and that she would be contracted to um, set up a coffee shop for like 50 grand like she she was really good at this and she'd done several and she'd worked in she'd been a manageress of a coffee shop you know in New York or something 
and she was doing it in London. This is the time of the, the beginning of the coffee shop explosion. Um, and uh, she was getting paid at that time 50 grand for her expertise to set up a successful functional coffee shop. Right, so that example is, you know, when we talk about today in today's market and the knowledge economy, that person or someone with that skill level and ability can basically be a mentor and teach and coach others to set up a, success, a highly successful coffee shop or whatever it is that they've done and been really good at and aced at in their in their town in their village in their in their city in their country and you know they you don't you don't you would not therefore need to contract this person to come and set the coffee shop up in your location and pay them mega dollars mega pounds mega bucks for that if you can get them mentoring and they'd be like hey this is how you do it you know, and you pay them for that, right? They don't have to move location. They can just like mentor you online through calls, through Zooms, through videos or whatever. And then maybe they make a course, a video course, and then you can, you know, get on that video course or some something else, or maybe a retreat, um, a mastermind for creating uh, successful coffee shop franchises or whatever, right? You get the picture. It's you know the 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 world is your oyster the sky is the limit when it comes to this and so you know so we could say for that person that they had a uh, an experience and um a certain demeanor and a, a certain tr character traits and attributes that meant that they were excelling at doing that well what are you excelling at doing? What are you a master of that maybe you give away for free, right? Because often, you know, what we are so good at is actually what we are naturally born with. And we may not be able to value that, right? So um, I'm curious to know from you, you know, what is it that you're good at? What is it that you love to do? What is that that you're experienced in? What is it that you're in love with? What is it that you just kind of know how to do? And people, other people are like, I don't know how you know how to do that. But yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Keep on doing that. <laughs> and maybe you've been paid to do this. Maybe it's something you've learned in a job. Maybe it's something you've learned in a... Uh, academic institution, a university, you know, maybe it's something you've got a PhD in. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's something that you just have an innate skill in and you don't even know where it's come from. Uh, an artistic trait, um, business acumen, um, just a really amazing way of being with people that's so loving and nurturing. Maybe you're really good at boundaries. Uh, maybe you just, uh, you know how to raise boys, right? Um, maybe you're, you're just so good at DIY. It could be just, just anything. Ah, right. So, of course, me being the spiritual guy I am, I'm more interested in, you know, what you can do that's going to raise the consciousness of the planet. And so that's more who I'm speaking to. And of course, yes, of course, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm here to also tell you that it doesn't have to be that, of course. If it's like making coffee shops, well, go ahead and do that, right? Be a mentor, for a coach. You could be paid so many dollars for doing that. Um, but equally, and maybe that's your ticket out of the, the rat race, right? off the hamster wheel so many people are on that hamster wheel so many people i've been on that hamster wheel it's not a happy place for me never was really but at the time i just accepted my lot but was always like how can i get out of this how do i exit the matrix here and so you know and i um i did digital marketing um for a while and i self-taught with that 
Uh, I ran like a nightlife business, um, co-ran it. Um, and that was great. It was a little bit toxic. I'm not going to lie. Um, but at the time I thought I was having fun and, you know, it ended up kind of being a job, however, because I couldn't remove myself from it. Um, and it, it would, there was a lot of moving parts and things that needed constant attention. Now, with the digital marketing thing, that was definitely living it on my own terms. But I lacked the kind of business acumen and the skill set to really um, to really move it forward and scale it. And then I, I shifted to acting. I mean, and originally I was doing like some breath work and I was um, doing multidimensional healing work. Um, but some part of me was like, I want to be more in the world. I need to be more materialistic and grounded because hmm, there's, ah, I want that challenge. Because for me, the multidimensional, the spiritual realms are very familiar. And, uh, you know, it's something I've been pursuing my whole life, right? And, you know, I was doing trainings when I was 17, 18, 20, um, 22 uh, in different healing modalities. And... And I was just in that environment and it was very fulfilling and exciting and everything else. Um, and then I was getting more into the artistry side of things and the creativity and I wanted to explore that. And that was my new challenge, right? Writing and art and, and then drama. And so then eventually I came back full circle and actually did acting school, right? So, and that was great, don't get me wrong. Um, two years full time. It was very intense. It was a lot on my nervous system, right? Came out of that, tried to make it in the industry. Tough, very tough. Um, and I found that I, I just, it just wasn't working for me. I was getting a little bit of work and that work I loved, but it wasn't like great pay. And it was just like, oh my God, this is such a long haul marathon kind of slog. Do I really want to be doing this? And then of course, <laughs> um, I shifted out of that, I pivoted out of that into coaching. I just got this download from Higher Self, basically, which was, no, you need to be doing healing and coaching again. That's like, that's your jam now. And so from one day to the next, I literally just decided, right, and I, I posted on Facebook, okay, this is what I'm doing now, this is what I'm about now. Um, and, you know, give, give, send me a message, comment if you'd like, you know, a session. And then I just got four clients just like out of the blue, just boom, like that. But they were all people who knew me, okay. But that's where it started. And it was like, oh my God, I can actually earn money doing this. And um, yes, and so the other thing is, before anyone says on this video or in the comments or anything else, like, what qualifications do you have? What certification do you have? I think certifications um, are great. I think qualifications are good. And I've done my time in many different trainings. Um, and ultimately, it's like, are you in integrity with what you're offering? That's where the jam is at. Are you in integrity? Are you coming from a heart place? Because there are lots and lots of people out there with certifications and qualifications whose hearts are not in the right place, who have not looked at their shadows and who are, yes, like definitely not the best ever. So, of course, and the idea is that certifications, qualifications help filter out charlatans and filter out people who are mm, definitely like not all there, that don't have all their ducks lined up and people who might even be seeking to exploit others um, who are actually genuinely looking for help and needing help. And so this is really important. And I, I want to like, I want to speak to that because it's huge. And at the same time, the whole thing about validation and qualification is ultimately, in my experience, um, a red herring <laughs> because you are your own authority 
the buck stops with you and you get to invent yourself and get to choose what you do, how you do it, how you show up and what your truth is and what you stand in. And it's really important to stand in something. The more you can stand in it, the more that you can be in your inner authority and your inner knowing, the more of a light that you are going to shine out in the darkness of uncertainty. But that certainty, that, that standing position where you stand from has to be from your innermost and from integrity. Otherwise, it's just, it ain't, it ain't good. It's not, it's not in flow. It's in resistance. And this is really important, guys. Like this whole thing about understanding what is truly who you are and why you're here. And ultimately being aligned to that fully in your words, in your thought, in your actions is just absolutely so key. It will bring you fulfillment and it will bring magic into your life. It will expand the magic that's already there and make it bigger and bigger and bigger. And you will then have this beautiful exponential impact on all those around you. You will have an impact in the world on a frequency level where because you're vibrating at a higher level, because you are in integrity, because you're in alignment with your higher self, with your soul mission, with your purpose, your soul purpose. And also because you are joyful, because you are living your truth. And that makes other people around you more happy. So <laughs> what's not to love? It's a win-win. It really is a win-win. It's a big win and a big win. Big win, big win. <laughs> There's a poem in there somewhere. So you get to invent, you get to decide, you are the creator and you get to choose. And I'm not talking about like, you're the creator, like you're the, you, you're only you matter. I'm not talking about that. We are all the same consciousness. We are all this consciousness. We are all this. We're just individuations of it. And we get to co-create together the realities that we want to experience, the timeline that we want to be on. And this is the magic and the mystery of life that it all just fits together because it is based on consciousness. Consciousness basically controls reality. And so if you can shift your consciousness and upgrade your vibration and your, your reality, then everything is just going to feel so much more spacious and lighter and more playful and free and loving. Because ultimately that's who we really are and we're just coming back, we're remembering who we are. So, having said all that, back to monetizing your soul gifts. Didn't expect this video to go on for so long, but hey, here we are and I am. And I'm in this beautiful garden here and feeling very inspired. So I'll just go on and on and on. <laughs> uh, what you don't dare to do, you will never find out whether it works or not. And my intention in this video is to just kind of like encourage you to be courageous and allow yourself to shine, allow yourself to explore your soul gifts and do the thing that you want to do. Share it because you can. And the knowledge economy is so vast and has such potential, untapped potential. It is huge. And I, I know that because I'm experiencing it and I'm in it and I'm living it and I'm creating courses and coaching programs and people are coming into them and they are paying me money and I am having a monthly very nice, robust income from working with people one-on-one -on -one, as well as um, group, one-to-many, um, doing it mainly offline, but sometimes, sorry, mainly online, <laughs> but sometimes offline as well, where I'll run a workshop or a retreat and it's, it's in person and that's so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. It's so much more mm, juicy when we're together in the room 
right? There's so, it's so much more palpable what the, the shift is and the, the vibe that happens and the field that opens up, right, of, of space and love and togetherness. And I treasure that. I treasure that. So <laughs> that's, you know, this sense of hugger, right, with H-Y-G-G-E. Hugga, which is this kind of Scandinavian term, this kind of understanding about like coziness and togetherness and warmth and conviviality. And I'm all about that. And, I, I, you know, it's the home, it's the hearth, the heart. It's here, <laughs> here now, always here now. And so I love to be this. But at the same time, working online gives that location independence, that freedom, right? And so anyone can tune into your stuff and work with you. You're watching this video somewhere in the world, right? I don't need to be next to you for you to get this transmission, to get this information, this download, these insights, right? Because we're, we're leveraging, leveraging if you're in America, leveraging if you're in Britain and some other countries, the power of the internet, right? Which is great. And so you might go, oh, I want to look at this guy's link or this website or whatever and um, what's this 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 um jody's what's his cheat sheet his soul bliss biz cheat sheet which is the blueprint that um i've posted about recently and i've been sending out to a whole bunch of people who are interested like to monetize their soul gifts i want to do yeah i want to live like you do i want to you know do what i love and be free right? Ultimately, be out of the, off the hamster wheel, out of the rat race of the uh, uh, struggle and from one session to another, from one job to another, hour by hour, clocking in, clocking out and all of that. I'm sick of being a unit of production, right? You might feel like that and I understand. So this, yes, this is an entrepreneurial mindset indeed. It is thinking for self. It is being true to self as well. And it's not for everyone, right? Because, of course, you, you, you have to take your power back and reclaim your inner authority and choose from that place. And that's a lot of responsibility, guys, because guess what? You can't blame anyone anymore. <laughs> it's you, right? You're responsible for your business. You're responsible for your life. <laughs> and you're in charge. No one else is in charge, right? But, but you get to decide. You get to call the shots. You get to create and you get to reap the rewards of that, have the impact from all of that, shift all these people's realities that you work with, whether you're mentoring them to, you know, build tiny houses or coffee shops or um, release, you know, the shadow self, the negative energies, the ancestral patterning and trauma and open their hearts, um, men's work, women's work, womb work, um, crystal healing, um, hypnotherapy, quantum healing, uh, whatever it is, right? You get to choose, you get to create, and you get to do that and you get to light others' lives up and you're in charge of that, right? When you take it on, right? When you go for it, when you go, yes, I'm doing this, I'm going for it. Give me, give me, give me. I want to create, I want a chance to create. I want to make a six-figure income, right? And that's possible, it's entirely possible. Hey, Newsflash, I'm not quite there yet, but I'm so on the way. Like, it's so close. So, and then seven figures, and then more and more and more, right? It's all possible for you. So, I just wanted to be clear about that, that really, it, it's just your choice. It's all a choice. You get to be responsible. You get to take charge of your life, your reality, your income by monetizing your soul gifts, by sharing your skills, delivering your genius, claiming your worth. It's down to you, it's up to you, you get to choose. If you wanna stay small, you get to stay small. If you are like, oh my God, I have this vision, I, I dare to have this vision, I dare to act on this vision, I have this guidance, I have this higher knowing. I'm having these dreams, I'm having these visions. I'm, I'm feeling like I must do this thing. I must contact that person. I must go on that retreat. I must uh, sign up to that course, 
right? Because it's coming from a place deep within you of knowing, of opening and to your potential, to who you really are and why you're really here. And that's what this is all about, guys. You know, of course, the money is very great. It's great, right? Because the money makes the world go round. Of course, it's essential. It's actually essential. But ultimately, it's fulfillment and purpose and impact that many of us are after, right? Light workers, healers, coaches, consultants, um, entrepreneurs. We want that impact. We want to make a difference in the world. We want to reach our potential, right? We know we have so much in us. We want to go for it, right? We want to have this amazing lifestyle as well. We want to be free. We know we, we, we're supposed to be free. We know this whole matrix thing is kind of made up and it's a slave system on some level, right? Whether it's, you know, an Illuminati elite of blood sucking, you know, bloodlines or whether it's something else, right? It's kind of irrelevant at the end of the day, ultimately, because it's your life. You get to choose and you make, get to make a difference and you get to choose whether you buy into all the Matrix stuff, buy into the hamster wheel life, the nine to five, the, the rat race, right? Whether you buy into all of that and believe it, right? Believe the claims of all of that, right? That X person has this claim, right? That they are the leader of this thing, right? It's all claims, right? Or whether you get to go, well, actually, whatever about them. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on my family, my, my choices, what I'm going to do, what I'm here for, why I'm here, why am I born on this planet at this time of great transformation, great awakening. Why are you here? <laughs> I'm super curious. I'm, I'm so in love with those of us who are here who want to make a difference. I'm so in love with you. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited to be here talking about all of this stuff and allowing it in my own life and my own reality where we get to be who we really are in all authenticity, in our self-expression, not apologizing for who we are, not being ashamed of who we are, being different, right? From the herd, from the sheep mentality, right? Right? Not running away in fear, avoiding, but embracing, loving, excelling. And so this is really what this is all about. Um, your soul gifts, it's allowing them to come out and share them. So anyway, I think I've said enough right now. If you're interested in getting that cheat sheet, that guide, the blueprint for basically monetizing those soul gifts, doing what I do, right? And having this beautiful impact in people's life. Do you know what? You know, when we get these messages, people are like, oh my God, that session was so amazing. Oh my God. And they want to sign up with you again you know, with coaching or with mentoring. And they're like, yeah, I'm loving. This has changed my life. That is just so fulfilling. Like, I can't even describe how fulfilling that is. Because you allowed it to happen. You acted on that guidance. And then you became this, this vessel for that transformation to happen in that person. Of course, it's their choice. You know, we can't heal others they heal themselves but we provide the container we provide the catalyst for that we provide the the space for them to to learn to shift to upgrade um to make a better choice to make a different choice so we get to to be that and to provide that for others and be richly rewarded for it because it is so valuable this this download of aligned ideas into reality into action is everything inspiration is everything it's everything guys and you get to be part of it if you want to be so if you're interested then put a <laughs> put a me in the comments put an interested in the comments and i'll let you know i'll send you over the the guide the blueprint right and I am actually updating it and developing it as we go. And I'm sure that will turn into some kind of video mini course because it feels like I want to make more videos about this and get it really help you get really clear about the mechanics and the structure of creating your own um, mentoring business, um, coaching um, structure, business vessel. Uh, healing vessel 
catalyst container for others. Um, you know, whether again, whether it's a mix of online, offline, in person, uh, virtual, right? Um, and anything else, video, content, books, writing, um, audio, uh, etc. right? Retreats, workshops, um, you know, maybe you're setting up a school in a, in a certain place. I'm here at a kind of school, an adult kind of spiritual education center called Emerson College. And um, yes, yeah, a super cool place to hang out. It's amazing here. Um, and that's, you know, someone had to have that idea and to make it happen and to take action. And then it's like this place that people can come and hang out in and learn in and just met some people from Florida who were here and doing a healing course um, the other day and meet different people every day. So it's cool when I come here, you know, to work. Um, so you just don't know what the ripple effect is of you moving forward, you stepping out, right? You um, allowing your heart's desires and taking action from that aligned insight and that aligned understanding that comes in, right? That from your intuition and your guidance and from your higher knowing. It's so powerful. It's so excitingly powerful. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I've been Jody Dean. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. If this is on Facebook, I don't know if I can put it on there, but uh, I may do. So uh, just follow and obviously like and share and all that good stuff and comment, obviously. And if you're listening to this on the podcast platform, well, great for you. <laughs> um, thank you. My website is Jody Dean, J-O-D-Y-D-E-A-N-E dot -E com. And yeah, just send me a message if you want to have a chat and also apply to have a a one-on-one -on -one session with me, um, a gifted session where we get you clear, crystal clear about the challenges and where you are and what your kind of unique situation is. And then activate your vision, really get really clear, wave a magic wand, like what kind of reality you want to create. And, and, and also really get clear about what skills and what your soul gifts are. And then how to move that forward in the world, how to start moving towards that. So happy to to hold space for you in that way um if it's aligned all right so yeah if you'd like that just message me or comment uh one-to-one -one. um and yeah blessings all right take care and don't forget to follow and subscribe okay bye for now <laughs>